Hello and welcome to Quick Charge. I'm Steven and today is Sunday, May 5th. The robotics experts at ETH Zurich have developed an autonomous excavator that uses advanced AI to help it complete high skill tasks without a human operator. Dry stone wall construction typically involves a huge amount of operator labor. Doing it right requires not just hours of labor, but hours of skilled, experienced labor. But if the crew at ETH is successful, building stone retaining walls will soon become a set it and forget it task for robots to complete. Robots like the Heap Excavator developed for autonomous operation use electrically driven hydraulics to operate an advanced boom arm equipped with draw wire encoders, LiDAR, Leica icon site mapping, and a row tilt wrist on the end that makes it look more like a high precision robotic arm than a traditional heavy equipment asset. The robots are currently slower than human excavators, but they get the job done. ETH Zurich's robot excavator has been in development for years with numerous white papers exploring its potential use in construction and agriculture. As more and more manufacturers switch to electric, research into better solutions for existing hydraulic equipment and expertise could lead to big market wins. Chinese company Costco Shipping has launched the world's largest river-to-sea electric container ship. The Greenwater 01 is a 10,000-ton fully electric vessel that set a new benchmark in sustainability in the marine logistics industry. Costco is a state-owned multinational conglomerate headquartered in Shanghai specializing in marine transport. The Costco Group is the largest liner carrier in China, transporting hundreds of container vessels daily while also providing ships to Chinese automakers to help them export their electric vehicles to new markets overseas. Costco has has developed a massive fully electric container ship which now has officially began service in China. The Greenwater 01 sails a total length of 119.8 meters and a maximum speed of 12 miles per hour. It has a deadweight tonnage of 10,000 tons and battery capacity of over 50,000 kilowatts. Costco says the number of battery modules can be configured depending on the length of the voyage at sea. When the Greenwater 01 is equipped with 24 battery boxes, the electric container ship can complete trips that consume 80,000 kilowatts of energy equivalent to 15 tons of fuel. German startup Wooden Blade Technology just installed wooden blades on a prototype wind turbine. The company made the 9.3 wooden blades specifically out of laminated veneer lumber and installed them on existing wind turbines in Germany. About 90% of a wind turbine is made of materials that can be commercially recycled, but blades are the exception as they're made of fiberglass and carbon fiber bound together with epoxy resin, which is difficult and expensive to break down. Wooden says its LVL blades are 100% recyclable. The company makes its blades with automatic CNC machines that use code to create complex 3D shapes. The technology can be used for manufacturing any type of blade and no molds are needed. It's efficient, cheaper, and locally made, reducing transportation costs and emissions. They are even more durable than the composite materials typically used to make turbine blades. Urban air mobility specialist Joby Aviation is touting its latest milestone in EV toll development today. It has completed testing of its pre-production aircraft and will now move into getting air certified using its production EV toll prototypes. Joby Aviation currently operates as one of the more prominent and promising electric vehicle takeoff and landing air taxi developers in the growing segment of advanced air mobility. We saw the company achieve its first flight with a pilot on board in October 2023. They are working towards plans for full-fledged air taxi operations expected to begin in 2025. With pre-production prototypes eVTOL testing now complete, Joby says it will focus on flights using its production prototypes as it prepares to begin for credit flight testing en route to full-fledged commercial airworthiness certification. When commercial operations begin, Joby eVTOL air taxis will be able to transport a pilot and four passengers at speeds of up to 200 miles per hour and travel over 150 miles on a single charge, all with significantly lower noise pollution than helicopters and zero emissions. Those air taxi operations could very well begin in the United Arab Emirates as Joby signed a six-year exclusive deal for air taxi operations throughout Dubai this past February. The Department of Treasury and IRS updated the EV tax credit rules today with new requirements that should enable more electric cars to become eligible. The reform launched in 2023 brought many important changes, primarily removing the limit of 200,000 vehicles per manufacturer and adding eligibility criteria for EV buyers, but the Biden administration also introduced new protectionist initiatives at the same time. It requires vehicles to be assembled in North America to get the credit. It also requires gradually higher percentages of battery materials and components to be produced in North America and in countries with free trade agreements with the U.S. 
This last part has been the most problematic one for automakers. They have been scrambling to both try to trace the source of all their battery materials through initiatives like the Battery Passport and to move sourcing to North America when feasible. Because of those difficulties, some of those rules have been relaxed until 2027. This should enable more electric vehicles to keep access to the tax credit as the requirements are starting to become substantial quickly. Currently, only 22 out of the 104 electric vehicles for sale in the US are eligible for the tax credit. More EVs are expected to become eligible as automakers start to adapt to the new rules. In today's community comment found on YouTube, somebody mentioned that there are already some fast electric motorcycles out there like the Lightning 218 with that incredible 218 top speed. And while that is true, like yes, there are going to be a lot of fast electric motorcycles, when you're looking at the market and seeing within that regular price range of $20,000 or so that a lot of these other internal combustion sport bikes are in and you're comparing them with the live wire that is also like within that $20,000 price range or other electric motorcycles like the Zeros, the top speeds are way off comparing, you know, 100 mile per hour top speed or 120 mile per hour top speed to the 180s, 190s, and so on. Thank you for watching Quick Charge by Electric. I'm Steven and have a great day.